Putting images in Blender is usually a pretty difficult task. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Text by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to uh, import images into Blender as a plane. Um, so first things first, we're going to delete the default cube, camera, and lamp as always. We're going to go to a, one of my numpad, go in the front facing view, we'll go to cycles rendered mode for the first uh, test here. I'm going to do both of them, but for the first one, we're going to be using cycles. Uh, so we're going to hit one here. And up on up in file user preferences, I'm gonna make sure that we have um, plane. We're gonna type in planes, and we're gonna make sure this is checked. Um, import images as planes. We're gonna make sure that's checked, and we're gonna hit save user settings, and we're gonna close that right on out. So now when we hit Shift A or go over here to Create, um, actually you can't go and create. You have to hit Shift Shift A. So Shift A in mesh, and then down uh, images as planes. So boom. All right, so I've opened up our image right here uh, that I got off of pixels.com, which is one of my favorite websites ever. Um, if we go to material mode, you can see that there actually is an image on this plane, so we can scale it up, hit the S key, and then just drag our wheel, our, uh, our mouse up, RX 90 to rotate that on the X axis, 90 degrees. And now we have an image in Blender. If we add in our camera, you should be able to tell that when we render this, just shift A, add a camera, drag it back, uh, G, Y. If we render this, you'll be able to tell that you can see the image not very well but you can see it um, so that is that is how you do that for cycles in blender render it's pretty much the same thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna delete the, actually we're gonna move that to another layer so M ah yes I forgot something first we have to go to the blender internal <laughs> what am I doing all right so uh, now we're gonna hit shift a and then images is plain and we render it you can see it right there we go that is right there Blender internal, we now have our image the same exact way. There is one thing I wanted to show you guys. So when we go over to the images as planes, over on the left side over here, you'll be able to tell that we have a lot of these settings next to all of our uh, all of our images. And uh, what we can do if you're using an image that has transparent background like this, uh, like this Blender logo right here, um, you can always go over here and make sure this use alpha is checked because if it's not then it'll just have a black solid background behind it and that is not what we want so we're going to import this blender logo right now so using the use alpha and we're gonna we're gonna open that right on up and we're gonna hit rx 90 we're in, in blender internal right now by the way still um, i'm gonna scale that on up and what we're gonna do is i'm going to textured mode so you can see that and uh, now if we if we give this a render, you should be able to tell that it has a transparent background, but you can't tell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in, uh, I'm gonna add in a, bit of, a bit of monkey behind this, add in some Suzanne. And you should be able to tell that we now have a transparent background. So now we can see through our logo. That is perfectly amazing. I uh, hope you guys learned something new today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comment section and subscribe for more Blender tutorials in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye.